guys, this is Brianna Paint here. I'm gonna show you how to do the heavenly sky got in the thumbnail using only black, white, and the Pythio blue, if that's how you pronounce it. And using these brushes, the fan brush, and just like a normal squarish type brush, and using these containers to put the paint on and a blow dryer to dry that paint. Um, here I'm just setting it up. Uh, it works best on a black canvas, so if you could paint a canvas all black or whatever. We make two different piles of that blue so we can mix um, white with wine, which is what we'll put on the top. And then we'll use the, the dark blue for the bottom. And then I did a pile of black for, <clears throat> for the bottom as well. So here I am adding white paint to that blue. Um, I didn't put enough, so just make sure you uh, leave yourself extra paint for that. And I added more white, but you didn't see that because I cut it out. And here I am just gen generously, can't say that word, adding it <clears throat> to the top right there. Um, I'm putting a lot because this is acrylic paint and it dries really quickly. So I mix it with water and I put a generous amount. Um, just so I can get the color on there. And then once you get the sides, you're gonna do X's throughout the whole painting. It's uh, great for like blending and stuff. You can add water if you don't have enough paint. Um, but yeah, I use water as a medium. And then I use the dark blue. Just, I didn't mix it up with anything on the bottom. The Pythio, whatever, <laughs> blue. And you do the same thing as the top. And then I start to slowly work my way up um, with that bio blue. <laughs> and then I start slowly adding some white to it, if you can't see that. Just a little. And of course, do X's, you know. You can do this with the um, oil paints as well. It's a little easier to do it with the oil paints because it's just smoother to move. And then I start to slowly add uh, that white or the lighter blue in there and then I'll work it the way it down. You can use water to do that as well. See what's cool about the black canvas is that yeah you'll have like little patches or whatever but it actually looks pretty normal in the long run. And you'll see what I'm talking about. And then here I'm just adding more of that light blue and I'm bringing it down a little bit for like the sun in the middle of the canvas. And all the paint is wet so it's mixing actually pretty well. Constantly doing X's. And here I'm like, oh, don't really like how, you know, the bottom looks. So I just add more of that uh, blue to the bottom.
see in this process you don't really have to clean off your brush because you can just like it just looks nice either way if you keep on blending it and here I'm adding more white I want the top to be a lighter and the middle I gradually start to add more white as well More white, more white, <laughs> more white. I'm just really trying to get that spot um, to be a lot lighter without having to wait for it to dry um, because it's just easier to blend that way. And if you realize you put too much white, you're like, oh crap, you can just, you know, dip it in the water. You don't really have to dry it, um, like completely dry, just wipe off the water there's still be some where you're able to just like use that water to blend I like to use my finger a lot too if you can't see <laughs> but yeah and then for this step you're gonna do a tip of the white paint just to do the little streaks for the Sun in the middle um, you're gonna do this outwards so from the middle out and you do that all over the place um, doesn't matter like what shape and just as long as the line is straight um, so just go around the canvas um, doing straight lines now, some of mine aren't straight but um, I'll show you how to fix that And obviously with this step, you're not gonna um, drag your brush across the canvas too hard. We want like lighter streaks there. So you're barely touching the canvas. And I'm like, oh, might as well add more white. Trust me, this is not the only time that I'll be adding more white. I'll be doing it a lot more throughout this whole video. the brush a lot so I added water then I damp the brush and make sure that um, I'm bringing the paint that's in the middle bringing it out with that water that I had on my brush and on the bottom I didn't think it was dark enough so I added some black and just you know X's to blend it in don't touch those uh, the streams of light So I do believe this is the part where we start the clouds. So you uh, first start with that uh, fan brush. You dip one side, like half of it, in that white paint. And then the other side, you'll use that pipe that you, the blue, <laughs> the dark blue. And pretty much, yeah, I, I zoom in to show you that. <laughs> and then you'll start with the white on the top. 
side and you'll do like a, a twisting motion it's important that you do that twisting motion it just kind of like freestyles those colors there and blends them um, in together as well so then I'll just when you run out of paint you can just you know just dab it in the white and then um, in the blue again and just keep on going just do what any shape that you want literally clouds don't have any particular shape just anything that you want <clears throat> when you're twisting it in this case just make sure the white stays on the top and the blue stays on the bottom and then I filled in the clouds just by adding water um, to what I already had on the brush and then just it just naturally just blended in there. If you think certain parts of the cloud isn't light enough or dark enough, just, you know, add more blue. Or on the top add a little bit more white and you can use that fan brush to kind of blend it in there since all the paint is what uh, still wet it shouldn't be that hard to um, blend in there Like I said earlier, more more white paint in the middle. And this paint is most likely dry now, so I use water. But not too much. Not too much water to blend this. And I will show you how I do that in a second. See, when I blended those uh, clouds together, I lost all that um, darkness of the clouds on the bottom of them. So um, it's still wet. The paint's still wet there. So I just add some more black there. It's up to you whether you want to use black or that uh, blue. When you're adding white to this part, see here I'm finally showing you how to do the water. Um, mixing the, the water, you don't even have to use a towel to wipe off the brush because um, it'll just wet the paint that's already on it. Um, but make sure you go the way that the, the streams of light are going because you can't see it right now but that fan brush will create little rays when you look at it from afar you'll see those little rays so make sure you go the way that the, the streams of light are going And 
I kind of singled there, right there, because um, I'm pretty sure it's because I wanted to add more to the bottom cloud. So get that fan brush handy there. Get the white, get the blue. I just now noticed that I did not get the blue. I just added the white and that will mess it up. Don't do that, don't do that. See here, I'm like wiping it away. And for some reason, I just keep on going. I don't even get the blue. Maybe I just ran to get the picture done. Don't rush it though. Like, get the white and the blue. It'll be worth it. Then I started getting frustrated, if you can tell. showing like how the water is gonna look at the end but that's how you do it I mean it's pretty easy like, all you need is those three colors and some water and fan brush and a regular brush this is how it came out so you can see those little rays it's so awesome it's so easy too um, and I hope to see you guys maybe try it hopefully um, yeah that's the end product and thank you guys for watching here's skip saying goodbye i'm saying goodbye you guys have a wonderful day